Uh, why is chocolate toxic? Cho chocolate is toxic because it contains uh, methyl xanthine theobromine. Uh, theobromine is similar to caffeine and is used medicinally as a diuretic, heart stimulant, blood vessel dilator, and a smooth muscle rising. Okay, theobromine, uh, theobromine can be poisonous and results in severe clinical signs, especially if untreated. And it says it's uh, preceded by uh, hyperactivity. Hmm. All right. There you go. So large amounts, essentially. Yeah, yeah I've only ever seen it, you know, scoop up an M&M here and there. Somebody drops, and I'm like, okay, well, everything's cool. <laughs> so I guess, you know, larger. But you would think this would be a fairly common occurrence. Lots yeah. of people have dogs. Lots of people have a lot of chocolate around. Dogs will eat any fucking thing that comes within a, a foot of their mouth. Right, so you would yeah. think there'd be a lot of this going. Oh, on. oh, dude, I had a black lab that ate an entire chicken skeleton in like a few bites. It was amazing. I had I a black was... lab that ate bushes. It ate entire fucking bushes. Well, what was weird? Okay, like we we had carved up. I forget if it was a chicken or a turkey, but it, it was like it, it it saw it. And and this dog, it was really intelligent. And sometimes it would be hungry, and it's like I'm going for it. I don't care how much trouble I get into. Right, <laughs> right. and he leapt up. Grab this thing, grab like the skeleton of a, of a half carved turkey, right? And now it has the, the neck of it in its mouth. And I thought this was going to kill the dog. I was really right. scared for it, right? I thought this was going to kill the dog because I thought it was going to choke on all the bones and sh shit, right? That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Right, so the, the, the cartilage and the remaining meat is kind of holding it together. So it has the entire fucking chicken skeleton, right? Jesus. <laughs> it bites it once, right? It has it, it has it, it like takes it to the middle of the room, bites it once, crunches it so that the, the whole thing kind of folds up like an umbrella, right? And so yeah. now it's this straight piece. And then it goes crunch, crunch, and it's gone. It swallows, licks it lips. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> I thought I thought it was gonna I, I thought that's it. My, he's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> but it that's was cute. fine. Are labs, like, really bad about that kind of shit? Because mine, I, when I was, like, 13 or 14, I had a, a black lab, too. And, like, he would fucking just eat everything. My favorite thing that he did was eat June bugs mid-flight. That was my favorite thing. Because I fucking, first of all, I hate June bugs. Yeah. I goddamn hate June bugs. But, like, we would be sitting out in the driveway or some shit. I'd be out, like, shooting basketball or something. And, like, we had this motion light that would always come on while I was playing basketball. And, like, the June bugs would, like, fucking run up to it or fly up to it and shit. And he would just sit there and kind of follow them. And just his head would kind of nod. And he just, as soon as they got near, he about this, wow, right out of midair. And he'd sit there, chew them up. And it just made me laugh. And like, I was just like, I'm fucking glad you do that. But what the fuck, dude? You got like a mountain of food over there. Like, why are you just eating insects out of the sky? Like, what the fuck is going on here? I mean, can you, you know, this dog uh, that we had, uh, he, he was really sneaky. Like, okay, one time I had a, a hot dog on a plate, and the dog comes by and it's looking around. Now it fakes me out <laughs> by walking by me, looking straight forward. So like, its its gaze is like at a ninety degree angle from me and the hot dog, right? So it yeah. pretends like it's just walking forward, quickly turns. Okay, now I have I have it like on my lap, and I'm I've have my leg up as kind of a shield just in case the dog tries to come sniff it. Right. He kind of he goes up and his head twists down and over onto the plate, grabs the hot dog and and, and then just you know two bites and it's gone, right? But it it faked me out by making me think that it was looking towards the kitchen when in reality I was you know he's he's saying I'm gonna when I walk by this asshole. I'm gonna quickly. I'm gonna quickly ninja his hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're good at that shit, man. They are good at fucking like getting to your food. Yeah, like at a moment's notice, you just cannot fuck it up. Well, this dog was really smart. Like, uh, it like if 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 it was if it wasn't supposed to be out. But someone had the front door open. It would. It was like a uh, like a tight end or some other football player who <laughs> just like, he would fake one direction and then go the other and then be out the door if someone tried to stop him. Right, and he kept uh, like he had uh, a place where he hopped over the fence that he kept secret for a long time, and and yeah. he would only ever hop over that part of the fence when no one was around. Right. Right. Yeah. Because he'd get up on this beat up old truck that had been parked there for about a century. And he would just get up on that and use that to get a running start and leap over the fence, right? <laughs> and uh, is and like I said, as, as he would never use it when anyone was around because he's he was smart enough to know that yeah, if it's they find out how I'm doing it, they'll yeah. they'll stop. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I, mean, that... I mean, can you imagine being a dog and everyone else is eating all this awesome food and you're just eating, like, the same old chow and occasionally a biscuit? I mean, I, that'd really suck. Yeah, dude, it's bullshit. But, like, then again, it, it's kind of like, you know, like, maybe, maybe they're – attitude is i'm getting some of this so fuck it yeah like here, here comes that smell yeah, yeah. i'm gonna eat something cool today I mean, so just imagine work. like the humans have all like this huge variety of these amazing foods it's like it's like when you're like you're <laughs> up and every and, like all the delivery places are closed so you just sit there sit there and like really grudgingly eat cold cereal right <laughs> <laughs> what an analogy you're like but, yeah. fuck yeah. god damn it Oh fuck! Yeah. Oh, dude, I lost my shit. I lost my shit over this thing re- uh, recently. Like on two separate occasions, I've ordered lo mein noodles, and they gave me the wrong kind of noodle because there was some white person. This is where I go all Tumblr hating on white people. <laughs> <laughs> there was some right. white person answering the phone at a Chinese restaurant, and they didn't know that the, they don't know the dishes. You know what I mean? Right. Like they right. don't know right. the Chinese. And I'm like, lo mein noodles, not what. You know, not ch- not what are erroneously called. You know, sometimes they'll call you know lo, uh, lo mein noodles chow mein, but chow mein is a dish, right? Right. Chow yeah. mein's a dish that, that sometimes has lo mein noodles with like you know uh, little you know veggies and shit, right? Yeah. And I yeah. said I want just lo mein noodles, okay, the thick brown noodles, the soft ones, and they'll give me like Hong Kong, excuse me, Hong Kong style. Uh, you know, uh, chow mein, which is like crunchy little whiteners. And I was like, this is the exact fucking opposite. And I'll even walk the person through it. I'll be like, okay, I want to be sure before I place this order. That was it the talk- same dude or is it just always some Two different like- people at two different restaurants. Uh, okay. And then what that's <laughs> fucked up is this one place I actually got, I actually got them to get, okay, like one of their employees got it right. 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 One of them got yeah. it right. And I got this little, like a, a little pint of, just lo mein noodles, no veggies, no and no bullshit, right? And it was yeah. amazing. It was fucking amazing. And I had this craving for them. So it was just one of the best meals I had. Even it was just just noodles, nothing else, right? right? But then I get another employee, and they don't know what the fuck. And they give me the <laughs> wrong kind of shit, even though I explicitly tell them they still give me the wrong shit. And then I'm just too hungry to send it back or whatever. Right. And I'm just, and then, I mean, I, I haven't been that angry in a while. Because it's just... <laughs> I haven't. I haven't been that angry in a while over anything. I was just like in despair because, like, I had such a craving for such a specific item, and this yeah. person is standing between me and getting it because they don't know their fucking job. Oh fuck! Oh, that's good shit. Oh, dude, I was just, I was so distraught. But then I had to just eat it anyway. It was yeah. fucking bullshit. I'll never order from either of those places. But I mean, it's like you know, I'm, I'm running out of places because every time I'm like, yeah, I'll never order from them again. And it's just like, then, and then the next person again, you know, you got like Chinese cooks and then like white people answering the phone, like, and they don't, they don't know the, the names of the fucking dishes. Uh, and, you would think like, they would harp on the people they hire to yeah. learn the shit. You would think, like, yeah, that that would be sort of important. But. Like, one thing I've learned, like, you you do the thing that I do, which is, fuck that place, I'm not going back, right? Yeah. But I'm like you, you do that enough, you start to run out of shit. Yeah. But, so I've noticed, what you do is, you just go back to the first place. Yeah. That you said fuck it to, and maybe they've hired some new people. <laughs> and they, so basically, that's what you just keep road. I do that with, like, a, whenever I take my car to a mechanic. There's basic, I mean, there's several shops where I live, but, like... There's, I'm going to say, six or seven within a distance that's reasonable around me. So I'll go, and mechanics are shitty. They're always trying to fuck you in some way. Some are just worse than others, right? So you just you just keep rotating. So that's what we've been doing for, like, years. So first we go to place A uh, until they fuck us. Okay, now we're going to try place B. Oh, yeah. we're a new customer, so they're doing good, right? Or they're trying to be as, as easy on the wallet as possible. Yeah. Right, so a couple of years later, oh, they're fucking us now, so we'll go to place C. And then you just start back at A, where they have a whole new staff. Nobody yeah. remembers they already fucked you. And then they try to be nice to you again. And they try to do, you know, so, and that's pretty much what you do with everything. It's, it's what I do with ISPs. Like, they'll just raise the rate or some shit, and then I'll threaten to leave, and they give you a discount. Yeah. 
And then they the next year they go, okay, now we can't give you a discount. They're like, cool, see you, uh, see you in a couple of years <laughs> when you yeah. magically can again. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I – <sighs> It was just so aggravating because I'll get like a craving, especially for certain kinds of Asian foods, that it's just like a pregnant woman's craving, right? I just, I need to have a particular food stuff, right? And I order it, I pay their ridiculous fucking delivery fee. Right? Uh, yeah. uh, and then yeah. the only thing standing between, I mean, because I know for a fact that they have this item in their fucking kitchen because I've eaten there before. <laughs> Right, right. You I've eaten there before, the and when I was able to point color. in a picture, it's like this is lo mein, like like <laughs> tapping, their, like you've got the menu right in their fucking face. This is what lo mein looks like, not the <laughs> bullshit spaghetti noodles that you're trying to fork off on me. Okay, this is okay. That's what it means. This is uh, what it is. this isn't just what I have in my mind's eye. Okay, it's what right. you should have in your mind's eye when someone is says there lo a, mein. Is there? Is there a? Does their menu have pictures? That could help sometimes. Yeah, it's and I, I'll, I'll describe <laughs> like the color and, and, and texture and consistency, and they still fucking get it wrong. I'm like, let's just be sure that we're talking about the same thing, and they still oh, but you, fuck like, it up. You're, yeah, you're ordering on the phone, so yeah, yeah. Like, I, see, that's the thing. Carry out is so much better, but you don't want to do it. Like, it's so much cheaper. It's amazing yeah. how much cheaper it is. Like, I'm looking at if I can carry out menu yeah, right now. But I'm like, look, I got it's, shit I got to do. That's why I'm ordering food is because I'm busy. Yeah. I can't. And and they got, like, pictures on this menu that I'm looking at. And I'm like, I would just hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> just look, I'm going to push your head against this. This is what I want. But, yeah, if you're ordering on the phone, it's, yeah. yeah. So, and, and on both those occasions, I thought, and who knows, maybe I pissed them off and they did it deliberately. Because on both occasions, I thought, well, you know, I mean, they must think of me as you know this really picky guy that I have to spell it out for them. They might be insulted, but whatever. You know, the poor things I get what I want. But they just, how can they not know? How can they not fucking know? It's like, it's just learn your, learn, learn your trade, as it were. Right, it's, right. It's, it's like I feel, feel like I'm troubleshoot, helping someone troubleshoot their goddamn computer over the phone, and they're not like not even like accurately describing shit. To food, them. food is tough. Food is tough because the people that work there don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's that's what you're dealing with. I mean, you're anytime you're dealing with uh, minimum or close to minimum wage employees. Yeah, yeah, it's you're, it's a gamble. They don't give a fuck. But every once in a while, there's that dude. It works wherever. It's either the Chinese place or the pizza joint or whatever, yeah. McDonald's even, who's just super good at his job for whatever fucking reason. And you just want to clone that dude. Yeah. Because you know he's only making like 13 bucks, $12 an hour or whatever it is. And he's the manager. And like he's the nicest motherfucker in the world and he's working his ass off. There's and like everyone around him is doing jack shit. Yeah. There's this and one guy, like, I call him the pizza delivery monk, right? And he... <laughs> He's like kind of special, right? right? He's just kind of special, but he delivers pizzas, and I, he just makes me really uncomfortable because he's just too dedicated. He's like really gung ho about delivering pizzas in a way that just makes you—I I don't know what. You just, you'd have to—you'd have to hear him to understand it. I know like, I, I've met these people. I know exactly who you're talking about. Like, and I want to—they—they they want like I want to be creeped out. Or at the very least confused as to the origin of their enthusiasm. But having said that, I'm really glad they exist. Right? Because like most of what you get is just shit. It's just garbage service. And it, there, there's not a lot of in-between. There's either really lackluster who gives a fuck teenagers... Or like people who just got out of jail. Yeah. Right, who you don't want to fuck with. Like the, like the incident where the guy like beat the shit. I think we talked about that. Or like the two girls attack the dude at McDonald's, and he just like pulls out this metal deep frying instrument and beats the shit out of him with it. <laughs> and like what they didn't realize is that this like they like come into this McDonald's, and they start yelling at this dude that he's a pussy and a faggot and like all the they just start provoking him. I guess because it was like an order dispute, right? One of those oh. things like I said this and no, you didn't. You told me that one of those. Uh, and then it went out of control. They were like, you're a pussy, you're this, that. And they were throwing shit at him and slapping him. They came behind the counter. What? Where was and it? At a McDonald's. I can't remember what city it was in. Jesus. But this dude had just got out of prison for manslaughter. <laughs> and, like, it's like somebody, I was talking about somebody else about the same incident. And they were like, yeah, dude, like, you're in prison for, like, 18 years or whatever he was in for. Right? 
there's an instinct that kicks yeah. in when someone starts hitting you, right? And so this guy, I couldn't even tell by watching the video. I just assume it was something they used for the deep fryer because it was metal and it was in his hand and it was at McDonald's. But he pulled it out and he just starts whipping them with it, right? And Bill Burr had talked about it on his podcast, and I share his sentiment completely. He was like, I was with you up until about the 47th strike. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you can't beat him to death, man. You just can't. And he goes, but then again, you find out that the guy's been in jail for 18 years for manslaughter. And hey, hey, maybe this is why you don't hit a perfect fucking stranger. Yeah. Right? He's working fast girls? food at age 39. Maybe you don't attack that guy. And by the way, I could have taken one look at the motherfucker and known I'm not going to go back there and hit him because I'm likely going to lose that fight. Yeah. Like this guy's working at McDonald's as a fry cook. He's at least older than me. Yeah. He looks like he's been to prison a time or two. I ain't fucking with the guy. Where's your common sense? That you yeah. think you can just hit this person? I'm guessing it's because they're females. Yeah. And it's nobody's going to hit me. And I'm like, have none of you figured this out yet? Some of us will. Yeah. <laughs> like, and when we do, you're going to feel that shit. Like, don't attack dudes. Yeah. You're going to get the crazy motherfucker that will attack you sooner or later. Fucking entitlement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like, dude, like, it's to, like if I were a woman, I would be doing the Louis C.K. thing. Like every man would be like a bear. Yeah. And ho hopefully this one's nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be fucking climbing over the counter at McDonald's and hitting you with shit. I know that much. Jeez. Uh, anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, we've talked through most of this. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, and I, I only got a couple minutes, but we will try to attack this chocolate lab. Okay. And I understand I might lose, but fuck it, we're going to try. We're going to go. Right, here we go. Yeah. Fighting the chocolate lab. Yeah. You both miss. Okay. Oh. Dexterity. Wow, Dexterity. you hit for 16 oh! damage. Good shit. Okay. And only took five. Let's do it again. Eight. Okay. Took six. I, I can win. Seven. Though. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Chocolate. <laughs> okay, so you beat it. The Ooh. rich chocolate he sent becomes too much for you. You're so hungry and your stomach uh, grumbles at the need to fill yourself with the doggy's cream. Oh, <laughs> hey, never. You <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like, you could. It's, it's made of chocolate. You could bite yeah. the dog at any point and it's made of chocolate. But no, no. It's. You stuck right. that hard cock into your mouth, finding it delicious. You lick and suck the leaking shaft while your hands play with its six leaking tits. Uh, the, they dribble white chocolate cream, much like what you're soon rewarded with in great quantity from the dog. <laughs> mm, you gulp it chocolate. all down to satisfy all right. your hunger a little. Good shit. Good shit. You lick hey, your lips as you will this your... reduce my hunger? Because that would be cool. You know, it just occurred to me, I wonder if Arn is actually, like, already into this stuff, because he does know, like, animal clades and shit like we were talking about before. <laughs> I mean, he actually is the guy you might call. <laughs> it never occurred to me, but it's true. Yeah, he is the guy you call. He's like, hey, uh, what, what, is a, what does an ostrich penis look like? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, for the, for the sake of an arg for the sake of argument, uh, a, a platypus is fucking a walrus, and uh, what's uh, what would that look like? Uh, <laughs> what what are some of the considerations and caveats of that? Yeah, just quickly for my sketch. Ugh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, man. Ooh, but look, I got chocolate milk. You got Good chocolate shit. milk. Yeah. Uh, also, you have a canine muzzle, and the rest of your ears and head change as well. God Your damn! Change the scent of cocoa fills you, making you hungry for it. Somehow you know your somehow you know your head is made of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> somehow you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't imagine how I would have figured that one out. Somehow you uh, know it. Right. <laughs> your tongue lolls from your mouth, drooling a chocolate syrup as your dark chocolate eyes look around. Well, look, this was all in all a good experience. Like, it was just a chocolate dog. All I did was eat a lot of chocolate. That's all I feel like that happened. Right? Yeah. It's not like I actually blew a dog. I just ate a lot of chocolate. 
That's how I'm choosing to look at this. So and I have chocolate you know milk. Your head is made of chocolate. <laughs> I'm going to change my status to that. <laughs> through and through. I, I didn't read that part. Through and through. They even added that in. Okay. Yeah. And nine creds. And now I have 41 creds. I can, that's a lot uh, of creds. That's not bad. And but it was, uh, higher, it was a little higher level than me, I think. Yeah. So to speak. Yeah, it was, a pretty, it was a pretty tough opponent. Okay, then. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's save the game. Visible things. Yourself. Yeah. They're good stating the obvious in this, in this shit here. Somehow I know that myself and my head is made of chocolate. Through and through. Through and through. Fucking A. You could All kill, right, then. You could kill a whole kennel of regular non-chocolate dogs if they just fit <laughs> into your head. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you don't, I, I could have made a Game of Thrones reference, but you don't watch Game of Thrones. No, and by the way, I hear that's almost over, or there's another season. There, yeah, I think they, they have one more season, because they're and, already uh, the, the book. what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till the... Uh, it's all done. It's all done, I'm just going to watch the whole fucking thing. That's, that's actually exactly a really good idea. Do. And dude, yeah. you, you'll love the shit out of it, it is really Oh, good. I know I will. Everybody's, like, a bunch of, like, a lot of smart people keep telling me it's good, so I know it'll yeah. be good. Yeah. There has been one dumbass to come up and go, I don't really like it yet, so... <laughs> it's probably yeah, he's just I, some people don't like the fantasy genre other people i don't know just kind of get set on hating certain things and no, i'm into the genre to begin with so i doubt i'll be disappointed yeah i mean so, some people like won't give anything fantasy the time of day yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? okay well on that happy note um i think we're i think we are done yeah. for now well but anyway i was going to say that like this episode had a this last episode had an infamous character having his head eaten by dogs, so I thought, well, you know, if you were that guy and you had a chocolate head, you'd be perfectly safe. Or... <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of, like, that, that's the other great thing about just watching a show for the first time all at once, after everyone has seen it, Yeah, is I'm going to get a lot of jokes and a lot of references while I'm watching it. Like, I'm just going to go, oh, that's yeah. what that motherfucker was talking about. Cool. Now I got it. Yeah. You know. It's kind of a fun thing to do, I think. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till it's done, uh, so I can binge watch the entire goddamn series. 